Ultimates can be pretty strong, but some ults suck the fun out of the game. Sometimes they're too strong. Sometimes they're just busted. But before we get into all of that, I want to remind you all that we have merch. Head over to shop.thescore.com and check out our new black and ivory colored touch grass hoodies. I promise you'll love them. And now here are some of the most broken ultimates in gaming history. Kicking off our list, we have one of the most bullshit agents Valorant has ever seen. Chamber terrorized pros and casuals alike for over a year, thanks in part to his ult, Tour de Force. But look where that Tour de Force is now, Tan. It's coming right at them. And they also have Victor with these paint shells right here at Sand. Oh, oh no! no. Absolute catastrophe as Ye finds perfect timing with a quarter oh, force and annihilates the entire team. Chamber's ult was disgustingly good. It was basically a free operator that could one-shot enemies no matter where you hit them. Go ahead. Say what you have to this say. This guy has a Marshall as an ultimate! He's got a good point. Eventually, Riot made it so it would only one-shot enemies from the waist up, that wasn't even the biggest issue with the ult. The real problem was its rate of fire. You could spam shots nearly as fast as the marshal, and once you mowed down an opponent, a slow field would be left on the ground, which would help you pick off the rest of your enemies. Being able to, to do this, and then people inside that just get slowed, and look how fast it already shoots. It's really a marshal. Well, f is using a scout as an oh, <laughs> the f that's just, it's not that bad. You're playing man. ranked. Of course, people are gonna run into cryo cells and let him ace. I don't know, bro. Look at Ye. He's doing the same shit too. Yeah, nah. Ye's yeah, deagle is way better than his op. Yeah, but still, I don't know. I think the op is broken. It shoots a little too fast. It wasn't until December 2022, 13 months after his release, that the devs rightfully nerfed Chamber and his ult into the ground. They reduced Tour de Force's rate of fire by 57.5%, alongside other nerfs to the agent's kit, and nowadays Chamber is basically useless. Thank you, Riot. Now let's talk about yet another one of Riot's creations. What? What the hell did I just do? Despite being labeled as a marksman, League of Legends' Samira isn't exactly played like your typical ADC. At least she wasn't when she was released, and was more like a frontline AD carry who could 1v9 with her ult. <laughs> As Samira hits enemies with her abilities, her passive allows her to build up a style rank. When she hits S rank, she can then pop her ult and shred through her opponents with attacks that can crit and lifesteal. To put it simply, Inferno Trigger is basically a Katarina ult on crack, even after some nerfs. Oh, 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 what the f Oh my god! Next on our list, we have the original Mercy ult. I'm gonna sit in this room, because you know what? What's the fun of playing Mercy if you just keep doing the same thing? Elliot, Live an exciting right? life. What's that? Another three-man res I get from sitting down? This is such a silly hero. When Overwatch first came out back in 2016, Mercy was busted. Her ultimate ability, Resurrect, allowed her to bring all of her fallen teammates back from the dead with full health and shields. Yep everyone, literally all of her teammates. And they were temporarily invulnerable when she did this. I'm coming, I'm coming. He's coming, chat! Piece of shit, she's always hiding! No! Tracer's hacked, backside, you can kill her in station. Are you f***ing with me? We're actually gonna lose this? I'm so tilted. For obvious reasons, this was bullshit. You could take out five out of the six players on the enemy team, only for Mercy to stroll in and bring them back all to life with the click of a button. Oh, you've won a team fight, have you? Well, think again. If Mercy can hide and time her ultimate well enough, you could potentially waste a massive expenditure of resources by an enemy team. Her ultimate is in, it, it's the best ultimate in the game. It is absolutely the best ultimate in the game. Nothing comes close to this because it just wins the game. 
categorically wins the game pretty much all of the time. Thankfully, in September 2017, Blizzard finally decided that they had seen enough. So they replaced Resurrect with a new ult, Valkyrie, which provided various buffs to Mercy's entire kit. Resurrect still exists, but now it's Mercy's E ability. It only brings back one of her teammates back to life with full health. And it has been a welcome improvement ever since. When Monkey King was released into Dota 2 back in 2016, his ult was the most broken bullshit the game had ever seen. What does this now. even do? I ain't ready ready for Whatever, YOLO! Monkey King Finks! I don't know what I did, but he's f***ing dead! Wukong Command allows Monkey King to summon soldiers who hunt down his opponents. You see, Valve screwed up and calculated the life steal from his Jingu Master ability before factoring in any of the enemy's armor values, and it was busted. What? It says so short cooldown, holy shit. Duration, duration, 13 seconds. This ability is gonna get nerfed, that's for sure. This is an ultimate that is almost as powerful at level one as it is at max level. Put down the ultimate, boom! Look at that, all right, shit. Come back in here, come back in here. All right, we got, we got the hit, that's all I needed. Oh my god, that ultimate. Shadow tries to the jump, does get the connection here, immediately on Tartis, they break the linkers and in with the Doom, Arto in trouble. They'll drop down the Wukong's command side, looking towards Shadow, the Bash is holding him in place. In fact, doing a hell of a lot of damage with the Salt, they control the invoke, but they'll take down Blink. Laguna drops onto Shadow, can they kill him in time? Eyesight still trying to come back in and finish off Arteezy, but the Manta, he can't quite get out. They've brought down Arteezy, wings they've lost four, they'll buy back on two. Valve patched their mistake almost immediately. But even without his insane lifesteal, Monkey King is still pretty strong. Circling back to League, there's a champion with an ult that, well, steals other ults. Looking to continue this aggression. Pretty good here, steals the call, he finds the stun! R2, is it gonna land? A flash! It's early from Scout! Zack awaits him out and says, WHY THE HELL DID YOU GIVE ME SILAS AGAIN?! Back in 2019, Riot kicked off the year by adding Silas to the game. He's a magic-based melee assassin who deals heavy damage, with his incredible sustain from his Kingslayer ability. Players were already upset by this, but when they realized that his ultimate could steal his opponent's best abilities, they were furious. Silas has the most disrespectful ultimate in all of League of Legends because Silas is, for lack of a better term, a miserable piece of thieving garbage. Did I mention he's a bitch? For casual players, Silas was an absolute nightmare. He could basically 1v9 any game, and once he hit pro play, he even looked more busted. Flash, jump, wide, humanoid, misses the Amstone, the duck as well, but humanoid, You're dive right. on the Jimmy, that's one! He's looking to make it three, can he make the outplay to win the oh, game? Right. Over the years, Riot has nerfed pretty much every aspect of Silas' ult, from his cooldowns, the cast range, and its duration. But despite the devs' efforts, some pros continue to show that in the right hands, Hijack is still pretty strong. But now there's no Meganon. As the arrow comes out onto the jungler and they say, nope, here comes the Rakan, but a little bit too little time, Massive Nar into the wall, Tovi gets it down. And they were just waiting for the one moment and they get it done perfectly. We've already talked about Chamber's Tour de Force, but Valorant has no shortage of insanely broken ults. And among the most busted is Jet's Blade Storm. But he doesn't have the spike. He finds himself in a 1v4. Oh, reset. Make that a 1v3. 30 seconds left. 30 seconds reset. Left. Okay, make that a 1v2. <laughs> Defo manages to pick up the spike as well. Blocking Understands he goes there. Ethan's going in there as well. He goes in a great save. Defo good for four. Looking to work the ace. With the blade storm, he go. He's got a util. Defo does it. My goodness, the ace to kick off the series for Gambit. Jet's ult is basically a free vandal with five shots and no movement penalty. You can jump around and throw knives at your opponent's faces, and every time you get a kill, the knives reset. There was even a time where you could right click, throw out all our knives to get a kill, and they'd still reset. Okay. Nice. Over the 
time, Riot nerfed Jet's Bladestorm, making it cost more ult points, and they even eliminated the reset on right-click kills. But what ended up really making the difference to Jet's unchecked dominance was actually Chamber. He took her place in the meta for over a year, but after his extensive nerfs, it seems like she's finally back. And yeah, her ult is still pretty strong. All right, we're playing ranked. Let's have some fun. I forgot I'm playing ranked. I can do dumb one shit. On a, or one on B. If I just out aim, out aim everyone, then it's a good time, right? I'm improving as a player. I'm improving as a player. 100% I am. Wow, I could play the game like this. And that is our list for the most broken, overpowered ultimate abilities. Did we miss one that absolutely pisses you off? Let us know down in the comment section below. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, catch that neck crack on camera. Hold on. Ooh, that was a good one. I have to, I have to get, like, it gets rid of pain for me, it gets rid of stiffness. Yeah.